Welcome back. We're going back in time now. This is November 2022 and we are leaving the South Island. We're at the uh, Picton Ferry Terminal and we're heading along toward the Inter-Islander Ferry Arateri. Now I thought I'd show you this because the boarding experience is a little bit different than the uh, Wellington side which I showed in an earlier video and we're also getting on a different ship. This one is uh, has a different uh, loading area for the motorbikes and you may be interested to see that so at least know what two of the options are. Anyway, here we are heading along the ferry terminal. We've already checked in with our tickets, uh, had those cleared. We were waiting in a staging area for a spell and now we've been directed to ride along to this raised concrete platform that is a ramp that's going to lead up into the uh, body of the ship. Now on this one the loading process was a little bit different in that we came on soon after the heavy trucks and freight trucks uh, boarded the vessel and we ended up waiting here for about, I don't know, five minutes there uh, before we were directed up this ramp. Now it's another clear weather boarding uh, as far as we're concerned and we're grateful for that because there have been some times recently uh, within the last few days of uh, this video being uh, edited and cut down where the Inter-Islander Ferries have had to suspend or cancel a few sailings due to terrible weather at the Cook Strait. So yeah, pretty grateful that we had a, a great outlook on the time that, well, both times when we travelled both south and on this occasion heading back north. Now on the grate here we came to another halt for a little bit. There was a lot of manoeuvring going on with some big trucks inside of the ferry and that's what happened with that little uh, transition there as you can see. We were eventually then waved forward again and this is now getting on the ramp into the uh, ferry Arateri. And as you can see we've got some huge trucks that are travelling carrying all kinds of freight uh, from south to north and we are having to wait behind them before we're directed through to be able to stow away our bikes. Now sometimes it seems that it takes quite some time to get things done to get uh, to get moving through the ship but in reality it all happens pretty quickly it's only a few minutes and they've got a lot of tasks to undertake here to make sure that everybody's safe um, getting the trucks on board, getting motorbikes on board and then lastly the vehicles and camper vans and whatnot so better to do it right than uh, try and do it in a slapdash manner and uh, put people at risk. Now one thing they did notice which was really good was uh, we have a couple of pillion riders with us my wife on the back of my bike and Shane's wife on the back of his bike and they get a tap very shortly from a uh, high-vis uh, official who must have been going through the bikes and uh, noticed the ladies on the back and said look you don't need to wait here I'll escort you across the uh, traffic path and you can uh, head upstairs to the comfort of the air-conditioned lounges and uh, they took that opportunity and why wouldn't you? timing was immaculate because within just a few seconds of them having dismounted and headed off safely across the uh, carriageway we got the nod from the finally from the uh, controllers in front that we can carry on through. Now you might remember getting onto the other ferry, the Kai Arahi, the parking was at the right hand side of the vessel pretty much soon, fro after, soon after getting inside of the uh, vehicle hold. In this vessel, the Arateri, the parking for the motorbikes is right at the back across the back wall and we're getting directed in there. It's a slightly different setup so again it's probably 
why I thought you might be interested to see this. We've got little slides in which to direct the bikes. I kind of had two passes at my slides, so I had to back my bike out and have another crack. But uh, eventually got it in a place, strapped it down to the uh, hooks in the floor, as you can see alongside the uh, side of the bike, and I left some photos at the back, which will show it uh, fully locked down. Anyway, that's about where we're going to leave this one. Hope you've enjoyed this little look at boarding the Inter Islander Ferry. Ride safe, take care, have fun. See you next time.